Good morning. What you're hearing <laughs> is a street cleaner. He shows up at the strangest time, you know, because Satan tries to interfere. I'm out here. I'm all set up and ready to go. I wanted to start this at 1017, and so I'm scrambling to see if it's 1017 yet. Oh, my goodness. We're so close. We're so close. Five, four, three, two, whatever. It's 1017 on August 31st and 2020. Yeah, it's been a, it's been one of those days. So um, 1017, I, I got out here and I'm like, no, there's something about the time. I need to take a look at the time. And so uh, I did. And, and I was like, I was at 1015. I'm like, no. And then this guy started rolling up. I'm like, well, maybe the time has something to do with it. So I pulled up 1017, and of course, it means an award to the victor. I don't know if you can see it, I can't tell, but an award to the victor. What is the award that we're looking for? We're looking to be gathered up from amongst this heathen here. And I say that with a purpose because, because... Oh, I've been tempted three times in two days to go back to the world for um, certain things, and I and I and I and I and I've turned them down three times. Three times I'm like, no, no, and it's weighing heavy on me. But bottom line is, like, no, I know who I know who God is. I know what He's done for me. So this morning, I haven't eaten yet. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm going to eat at some point, but um, for whatever reason, I'm like, no, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to have coffee. I'm just going to do this thing. I'm going to pray. A friend of mine sent me an email. That was important. You know, um, it all came together. And then that's my Bible, right? Look at that bad boy. This is a knife that my father got in Japan during the Korean War. He was, uh, he was on a medical ship. <laughs> We're gonna get to listen to a siren too. My father was on a medical ship, the uh, USS Cape Esperance. I can wait. And uh, anyway, when he went when he went ashore in, in uh, I don't know where in Japan, but it was in Japan, he picked up this letter opener, and 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 I used that this morning to put between the pages of the Bible for a particular page that the Lord wanted me to read, because I know that the hand of the Lord creates the outcomes of everything. God is sovereign, absolutely sovereign. Well, I landed on page, uh, not page, doesn't matter what page, they're all the pages are different. I landed on Psalm 106. And um, now I'm going to read it to you. Because it's important that if we consider ourselves to be those who trust in the Lord, there's a whole group that didn't, and there's a reason that they didn't. And I'm just going to read it to you. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with, thy, with the favor that thou hast bearest unto the people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory in thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers, we have committed iniquity, we have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. 
He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then they believed, then believed they his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron the saint of the Lord. And the earth opened up and swallowed Dathan, and covered the company of Abiram. And the fire was kindled in the company, and the flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf at Horeb and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into a similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forgot God their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them. Had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land, they believed not his word, but murmured in their tents, and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nation, to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague break, upon, break in upon them. Then stood up Phineas and executed judgment, so that the plague was stayed, and that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that, when it, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes, because they provoked his spirit so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works and served their idols which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and daughters whom they sacrificed unto idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled with their own works and went a-whoring with their own inventions. Therefore the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hands of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection by under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel, and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry. And he remembered him, and he remembered them his covenant, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captive. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. How many times have we turned our back? How many times have we forgotten what God's done? How many times, how many times, how many times? You know, and I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my life and I'm like, how many times am I gonna forget all the things that God has already done? and turn back to thinking that the world has something to offer me. The world has nothing to offer me. And God, in His infinite mercy, reminded me with a, with a knife blade. Don't play with the razor. With the edge of a knife through a book that's a thousand pages long. Exactly the page I needed to see this morning. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for God to remove us from amongst the heathen to take us out of this earth bad company corrupts good character people who know me know I say that all the time my daughter <laughs> probably hears it too much but 
Bad company corrupts good character. All of these incidents were people getting in company with bad company and then having their minds twisted and changed against God. And hanging around the wrong folks. Lord, there's no place that we can be that isn't around bad company. We're surrounded. Every nation is corrupt. And yet we still ling, cling to His Word, what He said, what He's done, and we believe in faith that He's going to continue to do it. Yesterday, I believe, was 40 days before the day that God will remove us from the heathen. Why do I say it? Because I believe it. Because I believe every miracle He did and I trust that this is one more. That's it. With the edge of a knife directly on the page that says, remove us from amongst the heathen. Lord, come quickly. That's today's message. Whew. Now I've forgotten what 1017 was. I gotta look at, this is sad. This is all about remembering and I've already forgotten what I knew just two seconds ago. Uh, <laughs> phone call from a friend. Interruption, interruption. I'll get back to him. The award to the victor. A prize of a heavenly reward for Christian character. We're about to be given our reward. Hang on. No matter what comes at you, no matter what they say, Hold on to what you know, what you remember, what you believe, what God has already done. And know that the miracles of the Lord are not over. He has more for us. We are the bride. The bride has to get to the wedding somehow. That's the rapture. God bless. Take care. Yeah, I think that's it. Bye. i got to go call a guy back. <laughs>